From Washington, this is VOA News. I'm Dave DeForest reporting. U.S. President Barack Obama says the United States and the European Union must move forward on a free trade agreement. Despite opposition to the idea, Mr. Obama spoke during a joint news conference with German Chancellor Angela Merkel in Germany. During presidential elections, it's always tough. Uh, when we're in the heat of campaigns, people uh, naturally are going to uh, worry more about what's lost than what's gained uh, with respect to trade agreements. But I uh, am confident that we're going to be able to get this done. Opponents have been critical of what they perceive as negotiations carried out away from public scrutiny, and they fear the pact will hand too much power to big multinationals at the expense of consumers and workers. Exit polls show the candidate of Austria's anti-immigration Freedom Party winning the first round of presidential elections, gathering more than 35 percent of the vote. The exit polls show the party beating five rivals, including nominees of the governing coalition. Preliminary vote tallies in Serbia show the coalition of pro-European parties led by Prime Minister Aleksandr Vucic, sweeping to a landslide victory in Sunday's general elections. Monitors report Vucic's progressive party has nearly 53 percent of the vote, and the socialists, who are in the ruling coalition, have an additional 13 percent. U.S. President Barack Obama says he will not consider sending U.S. ground troops into Syria. The president said there needs to be more than just a military effort to solve Syria's problems. This is VOA News. The United Nations Security Council has condemned North Korea for its submarine-launched ballistic missile test Saturday. The North Korean government is calling a submarine-launched test a great success. But a South Korean foreign ministry spokesman condemned the test. Officials from that country called it a failure. Egyptian protesters who mounted anti-government demonstrations on April 15th to express their anger with a presidential decision to give two Red Sea islands to Saudi Arabia as gifts, have vowed to stage mass sit-ins Monday to mark a patriotic holiday, Sinai Liberation Day. A group of lawyers says Egyptian authorities have arrested dozens of activists ahead of the planned protests. In a televised address Sunday, President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi urged Egyptians to protect the state and its institutions from what he called the forces of evil. A Dutch journalist was arrested by Turkish police early Sunday at her home in Turkey after she made a negative statement about President Recep Tayyip Erdogan on Twitter. Ibru Umar, a well-known columnist for the Dutch Metro newspaper, tweeted that police were at the front door of her home late Saturday night and they were taking her to a police station for questioning. A Dutch foreign ministry spokesman confirmed that Umar had been detained but gave no details. An electoral commission says 98 percent of voters in Sudan's Darfur region have voted against uniting the region's five separate states into one. A Darfur election official said Saturday 3.2 million of Darfur's 3.5 million registered voters cast ballots in the election. Papa Wemba, a musician known around the world as the King of Congolese Rumba, died early Sunday after collapsing on stage in Ivory Coast. He was 66. Papa Wemba had performed three songs at the Urban Musical Festival Anumado 
in Abidjan before collapsing in front of thousands of fans. Fellow performers rushed to his aid, but he died before reaching the hospital. The cause of death was not immediately known. Businessman Donald Trump, trying to lock up the U.S. Republican presidential nomination, says he continues to believe in his anti-immigrant proposals. One of his key campaign aides, Paul Manafort, told party leaders last week Trump has been, has been playing a part in the campaign and that he is evolving into a more traditional candidate. But Trump assured a rally of supporters in Connecticut that he has no intention of abandoning a proposal to temporarily keep Muslims out of the country and to build a wall to block illegal immigrants from Mexico. I'm Dave Defoe. That's the latest world news from BOA.